I'm Jonathan Hochberg with Finger Lakes Music Press. I'm here with Johnny Dowd. Johnny, thank you so much for giving us your time. Glad to do it. I appreciate it. Uh, we're coming up on the 25th Grassroots Festival of uh, Music and Dance in Trumansburg, and you were there for the very first that was yeah. at the, the State, State Theater, Theater. Yeah. back in 1991. Yeah. And uh, I want to get your sense of how things were back then, um, and it, as well as you remember them, and uh, what actually motivated getting that event started, and then get a sense of, of how it's evolved over the years from your perspective and, and, and what it's meant to the local community. So let's All start right. from the beginning. Uh, well, you know, the prayers got it started, Jeb, Jordan, mm -hmm. all the prayers <clears throat> uh, as an AIDS benefit. Mm -hmm. I think at the time it was just considered a one-off thing they were doing at the State Theater. So it was Donna the Buffalo, the Horseflies, and my band, Neon Baptist, mm -hmm. which was basically a family band, my sister, my brother-in-law, right. my nephew, and uh, I forget, and then Mike and Callie, a couple of friends, so it was pretty much a family type band. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a pretty, you know, it was a big deal for my band, you know, playing at the State Theater it was a big deal for everybody. And then I think, you know, it was very successful, big crowd, I think they made quite a bit of, quite a bit of money for the AIDS benefit. And then the prayers just took it from there, I think got the idea, that was, that's, I think that's right when festivals were just starting to become a big <coughs> part of the music scene. And, uh, <coughs> They just put it together and just built on it ever since. Mm -hmm. You know, now they have two or three. It's a pretty big business now for them, I think. Sure. Know. And you've been to many, if not most of them, haven't you? I think I've played all of them, maybe one yeah. or two. <clears throat> I might have missed a couple when I was touring. Uh -huh. But no more than two, I think. I think right. I've played all the rest of them. Right. Yeah. And do you... Have a how do you how do you feel about the the way that it's grown? I mean, it it was it started out uh, with um, I guess the the first year that it was out in Trumansburg, the headliner was Ten Thousand Maniacs, right? Which was a pretty big deal, right? Um, yeah. At the time, but it yeah. was it was a a much smaller affair in yeah. general. Yeah. yeah, it was nice. I mean, it was. It's, it's gotten big. You know, it's a big time festival. Uh, back then, things were a lot more intimate. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, it's been good. It's been good for the music scene. It's exposed a lot of uh, music that really wouldn't have been coming through Ithaca then. A lot of African bands sure. in particular. All over the world. Yeah. yeah, that would never have gotten to Ithaca without the festival. So Sure. To me in a way that's uh, sort of the main contribution. I mean they've had other great bands and other great genres, but mm -hmm. you probably could have seen them somewhere else. But the African bands you probably would never have seen unless you went to New York City right. or, or something. Right. So to have them come through this small yeah, community, yeah, and to see them in that setting, and yeah. possibly, you know, you might meet them or at least eat in the same room. <laughs> sure. You know that you know the world class, really deep, deep musicians. And, you know, a lot of great reggae bands. Mm -hmm. Toots and the Maytals played, sure, several times and were phenomenal. You know, and then you know it's you know it's nice for the local bands to. Sort of be in the same company of bands that are not necessarily better, but on, that are used to playing on a bigger stage, world class sure. bands. Sure, and so the the interaction there provides them with sort of aspirational. Yeah, inspiration. exactly. Yeah, like I want to get a bus and uh -huh. <laughs> be a headliner. Right. Yeah, yeah. 
is it, um, it, do you see that having had an impact on the local music scene? I mean, do you think it's really changed things? I mean, that's well, really I, hard. It's hard to say what, you know, what would the music state have been without it? Sure. I mean, it's definitely the biggest event, music event in right. Ithaca. Without that, there wouldn't be a single sort of rallying event where everybody, all the musicians are involved, uh, you know, all the Ithaca people are involved. Plus, I mean, people from out of town obviously sure. come. But without that, there wouldn't be a single, the, you know, and it brings people, you know, people maybe that are into would come to see me, but then they'd also be, they're there, right. so they're gonna see an African band that sure. maybe they weren't aware of African music or reggae music or whatever it would be. Yeah. So to be able to sort of shop around and expose people to different kinds of music, mm -hmm. yeah, you, one you of wouldn't the, have that. One of the fun know. things for me actually is seeing um, the different kinds of roots music um, and the and the Cajun music and the Zydeco music right. side by side with with Irish music, and you see all of the common threads, right? You know of the of the different musical heritages that have these themes that are reoccurring. Yeah. You know? yeah. Your music is not quite so much like that. Nah. <laughs> Your music is nah. pretty unique in that way. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, uh, to that end, you've got you've got an album that you just released back in March. Uh, the that's that's your wife on my on the back of my that's horse. That's your wife on the back of my horse. <laughs> that's right. And you've been uh, you've been out touring in uh, yeah that? yeah we uh, just toured in Europe, mm -hmm. and and then I'm going out this summer and doing some gigs in the States, doing some opening gigs for the Mekons. But you're gonna be uh, playing you're gonna be playing at the at the cabaret. Yeah, I'll be I actually have I'm playing Harrisburg, Cleveland with the Mekons and then and then grassroots. So uh -huh. it'll be a action packed weekend for me. Great. <laughs> Great. Well I'm looking forward to seeing it and thank you so much for your time, John. Yeah, I really got to do it. it. Yeah, thank you. Very good. I'm Jonathan Hochberg with Johnny Dowd for Finger Lakes Music Press.